Welcome to the uh, next episode of uh, Royal Brunswick YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Andy Taylor. I've been in Royal Brunswick Lodge for, um, well, since January 2018. I've been asked to talk about what I initially thought about the Freemasons uh, and uh, my experiences over the last sort of year and a half. I was always attracted to become a Freemason and I didn't really know much about it until I saw the documentary um, about Inside the Freemasons. It sort of gave me a little bit of an insight and I was, and I was uh, always one that had all the myths and legends and whatever in my mind and all the uh, various stories behind it. But I had a friend who was always, uh, who was a member of Royal Brunswick and um, I decided to get in touch with him and, and meet up with him and have a chat about it. I started off here as an entered apprentice Freemason, which is the first degree. Um, to say I was a little bit nervous on the night was um, an understatement. However, prior to that, um, I'd been for an, an interview, it's, well it's termed an interview, um, but it's more a discussion around a table with people who are already members and um, um, they just sort of put you at ease and ask you the questions that they need to ask you to make sure you are a uh, proper and upright person to become a Freemason. Um, the initiation is uh, a blur and um, afterwards I made it um, my policy if you like to go to a few more initiations to see exactly one through and I must say it opened my eyes. Um, I'm now a master mason having done which is the third degree having done the second degree and the third degree um, and I hold an office of um, assistant director of ceremonies in Royal Brunswick Lodge. Um, the, entered, the entered apprentices are very, very important to the Lodge and um, you will note when you join just how much hard work goes into it to make it special for the initiate. Um, there's a lot of work goes off in the background and you are welcomed and welcomed with open arms and you truly are a brother. Um, I found it very interesting that uh, a mentor was appointed to um, sort of guide me through my um, next stages and you're not just left alone to sort of fend for yourself although you are encouraged to go out visiting um, and I would, I would recommend that you have somebody with you but um, you're definitely not left alone and the questions can be asked can be answered um, just by asking a fellow member of the lodge or even indeed some other lodges um, the social side is uh, something that also is um, me. We do a lot of socialising, um, whether that be sort of quiz nights, pie and pea suppers, just going out for a beer or a curry, um, or maybe just um, having a a drink with friends. You know, at another at another venue. Uh, I've certainly made a lot of new friends, new friends, and uh, when I go to other lodges, I've made a lot more new friends, and you become very familiar with them and um, they do look after you and make sure that you are part of the the community uh, one thing i do really like about the freemasons is the fact that we raise a lot of money for charity we don't go out rattling tins and boxes and things um, we raise it all out of our own pockets um, either by subscription on a monthly basis to um, a particular if you're well, in your lodge to the um, charity steward or we then have raffles at events whereby we sell them I don't know to pound a ticket and you get a bottle of wine if you win or whatever and the money goes to the the um, adopted charity for the year um, what I would say is if you are interested in joining if you are looking to better yourself as a person then this is the place for you for moral standing then this is a place for you if you are looking for structure then this is a place for you. Um, if you are looking to um, have a leg up the greasy pole, as it were, or to have your back scratched, then um, this isn't the place for you. Um, it's expressly forbidden for us to uh, favour favour other Freemasons, and it's all about caring for each other um, whilst improving yourself morally. Um, I would recommend it wholeheartedly. Um, it's been in England for over 300 years now and will continue to do so going from strength I see it 
um, preserving the standards and enjoying ourselves. So if you would like to join, then um, follow the link and you'll be made most welcome. <laughs>